Next up, we have some entrepreneurs that have actually broken through the walls of the classroom. They are hands-on in the labs over at Wearable World, and they are here to show you some new technologies you likely have not seen before. And Reg Snodgrass, he's with Wearable World, he's here to introduce us to his amazing group of friends who have the next generation of wearable technologies. Let's give them a very warm welcome. Hey everybody. Um, Mike, Mike, okay, there we go. Hey everybody, I'm Red Snodgrass, I'm CEO of Wearable World. We're, I guess, the largest wearable media company in the world. It's still a new market, so it's kind of tiny. Um, we have a labs program where we have 18 different companies, two of which are here. We do events globally. Wearable Wednesdays is in 14 cities around the world. And we have Wearable World News, which I'm, I'm proud to say is is, is actually pretty impressive to read, so I'd love your feedback, I'd love for you guys to be a part of it, but this is not about me, this is about our wearable world and our, our teams here. So first up, we're gonna go ahead and sit down, and we have Alex Foster. Alex does uh, Race Yourself, which is a gamified uh, social fitness platform, and we're about to see his really cool video uh, that he's put together to show you the glass portion of his technology. So let's go ahead and roll the tape, or whatever it is, it's not tape. Okay, sure, life's a race. But since when is it about coming first? It's not about her, or him, or, yeah. This is about you. You're at the starting line. See, this is your race. Let's go. Improve yourself. Challenge yourself. Nice work. Enjoy yourself. Always wanted to try that. Push yourself. Test yourself. Free yourself. Be yourself. Whoa, that is crazy. Race yourself. She gets it. Cool. Well, I'm Alex Foster from Race Yourself. Um, that's sort of the glass portion of our vision, and glass isn't quite that immersive yet, but um, we still think it's pretty cool. We started out with the idea that we could make exercise more engaging. Um, we know a lot of people who think running and cycling is a really good thing for them, but they don't find it that exciting, and we wanted to make it more involving. So for the mobile version of that, that it's more about racing yourself and racing your friends. I can record a run or I can record a cycle, and I can then send that to my friends. They receive a notification that says that I've challenged them. That's a really strong impetus for them to get back out on the road, and that's where we sort of started off with all of this. Um, and then we have smartwatch and glass, and for those two parts of the product, we're sort of focusing on visualization. So getting people to buy into this idea of a race. Um, it's not just taking the data and putting it in front of you, it's actually turning it into meaningful insight. If I'm told that I'm you know, 300 meters in, am I motivated by that? If I'm told that I'm 300 meters behind my friend, that's very motivating. That's really gonna get me to run faster and actually make my run more exciting and, and enjoyable as well. So. Thank, thank you, Alice. Okay, so next up we have Andrew D'Souza. Andrew is the president of Bionim. It is this really cool way to use EEG and EKG to do security and identity. Uh, it totally blew me away when I, I heard the concept. And now that I've seen the platform like actually working, it's sick. So Andrew, uh, go ahead and uh, roll the film footage.
Awesome. So th thanks a lot, guys. <clears throat> thanks for having me. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, so if you gathered from the video, our goal is to make identity easy. So, you know, right now, identity is hard and it's painful, right? If you think about, think about what you're carrying with you right now, credit cards, driver's license, you know, loyalty cards and other things in your wallet, maybe you've got car keys, house keys, a badge for your office, and then the countless usernames, passwords, PIN numbers that we all have to remember every day. It's a pain, right? And, and they're get, it's getting worse. We now have to have more, you know, stronger, longer passwords for all these different things. Um, you know, it's, it's frankly getting to be the point where it's an impediment to me getting, getting access to where I need to be, getting things done when I need to get, to get them done, and it's still not very secure. And so our view is, well, what if we could just change this? What if all these systems could just recognize us for who we are, for something about us, um, and respond? What if we could make all of that friction, all those points of friction in our lives, just melt away? Um, and so what we've done is we've created uh, the NIMI, which is a wearable device. It measures your heartbeat. Um, may, many of you may not have known this. Some of the, some of the medical folks in the, rooms, in the room may, uh, but everybody's got a unique heartbeat. And so it's based on the size and orientation and shape of my heart. It's based on the physiology. Just like I've got a unique fingerprint, face, retina, voice, I've got a unique heartbeat. And so you put on the NIMI, you touch it for a couple of seconds, um, it confirms that the heartbeat is mine and, and I, you know, the NIMI, it belongs to me. And then it's able to communicate over Bluetooth to whatever system, device, service it, you've, you've authorized. And so what we, allow, what we allow you to do is essentially take the friction out of identity without sacrificing security, actually enhancing security, and without sacrificing privacy. Um, and, and what we're really excited about, what that means is not only do we, are we able to use identity in the way that we do now, um, because right now we only use it in high stakes applications, right? We use it for things like payments, we use it for things like access to, to sensitive spaces or access to sensitive data, um, and everywhere else we're all just anonymous blobs walking around. Right? Um, we sometimes have to wear name tags at conferences so people, people know us, but other than that, you know, there's nothing about us that influences our experience in the world. So if we can make identity easy, it's not only about you know, making, solving the problems the, the way that we use identity now, but imagine being able to walk into a retailer and they know me, they know my name, what I'm looking for, what I'm shopping for, my size. I walk into a restaurant and they know I have a reservation, I may have a food allergy or, or eating preference. You know, you walk into a bar and it's like cheers, right? Everybody knows your name, what you're drinking. Those are the types of experiences that we're also really excited about building. So, uh, appreciate you guys having us here. We actually have uh, a, because we didn't have a, a, a working demo, uh, we're doing a, a special promo for you guys. We, we don't usually do this, but uh, we love the guys at Relay Ventures and they've been great supporters. So, uh, if you go to getnimi.com for the next, uh, 24 hours, uh, and the promo code is strictly NIMI. You get a NIMI for $50 instead of the current $80. So thanks, guys. All right. Uh, next up is Marcus Weller. He won a Demo God Award, and he also won um, the South by Southwest Startup Competition Award with Scully Helmets. Um, it's a motorcycle helmet that is more than, more than Google Glass, and means, uh, Marcus means a lot to me as an entrepreneur. He's definitely one of our our favorites in the lab. So Marcus, uh, let's go ahead and roll the, the footage and show what uh, Scully's up to. So the problem with traditional mirrors is that they create huge blind spots. Uh, they're a technology that's literally older than Jesus. And so with these huge blind spots, it creates danger. And so what we decided to do was to solve that problem definitively. So with Scully, it is a 180 degree rear view camera that renders in a heads up display. And what that means is that you see everything behind you and to the sides. It also runs Android and has turn by turn navigation. Let's go for a ride. Scully. Hello, it's 72 and sunny. No rain in the forecast. Play music. All systems go straight from inside. Light traffic ahead. Turn left here. Call from Sarah. Continue straight on market. Turn right.
What this represents is a tectonic shift in situational awareness technology for riders. So what that means is that basically it enhances my ability to get from point A to point B. We believe at Scully that we need to bring wearable technology to bear on some of our most serious problems. So we believe very, very strongly in excellent user experience and also a 180 degree viewing angle rear view camera which allows the rider to be more aware of their surroundings. Now, in addition to the rider being more aware of their surroundings, we try to look at sort of the disease rather than just the symptoms of these motorcycle accidents. And so by connecting the rider to a connected network of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication, we can also prevent other drivers from running into the motorcyclist. By solving these two problems, we can cause a significant drop in motorcycle accidents. So we've had, actually, it's now over 85,000 people have signed up as beta testers um, for Scully, the Scully AR1. Um, and we've had some, some great media traction since launching at Demo, where we actually met Reg um, and, and subsequently joined Wearable World. So um, with that, you can, if you're a rider, you can apply on our website, scullyhelmets.com. Um, and we welcome any um, additions, any, any applications that come in from today. Obviously, you guys have a special preference. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to take a second. I mean, what you're seeing right now is a perfect convergence of internet uh, network-based capability with uh, good user-centric design and, and also this deep-seated customer expectation. All these entrepreneurs embody what is necessary to be a successful entrepreneur in wearable, which is they're full of empathy, and they understand uh, what their end users need, and they actually, they really care about it. And so when you guys look at all these different entrepreneurs coming out, if you see people that have that deep desire, their, the empathetic understanding, you know, those are the ones that are invest in because those are the ones that are going to be successful in this wearable world. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. Namaste, and we'll, we'll head on out. Yeah. This way?